Welcome to another DIY how-to video. In this video, I'll be showing the basics on preparing and painting over old paint on a timber baby cradle. Some of the tools I used are pictured here. As all my videos will show, I am no professional in any of these, but just wanted to show that anyone can attempt and pull off small projects around the house on a small budget. All up, this cost me approximately $20 to $25, and that's with replacing the two bolts for the hooks. I hope you enjoy the video. You want to start by removing all fittings like screws and bolts to paint separately. Just go round and make sure everything is tight and secure. Look for any holes or gaps that need filling with your timber filler. Next up is the sanding process. First of all, I went with an aggressive paper, been 120 grit, as I wanted to rough up the surface and I knew I had lots of imperfections in the timber. Then I finished it off with a 200 grit for a nice smooth finish before painting. Once all the sanding is complete, I used a soft headed broom just to clean up and get it ready for painting. Under the painting now, and with the paint, I chose the squirts paint and prime just to take out that extra step of putting an undercoat on first. With a pressure pack can like this, you want to keep a steady pace with a nice sweeping motion, holding the can about 20 to 30 centimeters from the timber. This will ensure you get a nice even coat without being too thick or creating run marks. Now depending on what state your timber is in, it's up to you whether you want to put one or two coats on. Two coats would be recommended, however in this case, because I painted this previously only about 12 months ago, I went with one coat and it seems to be alright. If you were to put a second coat on, you may want to give it a light sand in between just to smooth that surface off.
sanding of the bolts and the hooks, I use more of a scour because you want to rough up the surface so the paint sticks as opposed to making it smoother. Before putting everything back together, make sure you read the label so you know how much time you need to allow for the paint to dry and fully cure so you don't do any damage. As you can see here, I'm using a rag over the hooks just so I don't mark any of the fresh paint or chip anything off. If you like this video and want to see more, please click the like and subscribe button at the top of the page.